Good morning and welcome back to Morning Express. We're glad you're with us on this Wednesday. It's the first day of July. And joining me in studio is a very busy man who's in the spotlight at the moment in terms of the big stories. One of them being the teachers and their big win yesterday. They strike gold is the headline in the standards today. He's a secretary general, the Kenya National Union of Teachers. But we'll also be talking about another issue that's big, the NHIF rates. And he's a general secretary of their trade union congress, uh, the Kenyan uh, chapter. So we'll also get to discuss uh, more about what it is they're threatening to go to strike about. We had the acting uh, CS Labour Omamo there earlier on say that indeed consensus will be reached. She's optimistic that that will happen but the uh, unions are saying that might not not happen they will uh, indeed go to strike if their uh, whatever it is they're what uh, they're asking for is not um, given or granted but let's begin with the teachers so Sion, thank you very much for joining us this morning yeah, thank you so 50 to 60 percent increase striking gold do you see it as has been captured by this headline well I won't call it striking gold uh, considering the comparable standards that we have all over the world. Yeah, many economies and economies that do well do take care of their teachers very, very well. And they're well remunerated, well protected, well supported. That's why such countries have succeeded in, uh, and I wouldn't like to give the list. The list is long. Mm -hmm. That is why they've succeeded in fast tracking the economy and because of uh, supporting a strong teaching force. Therefore, uh, what we got yesterday uh, at the industrial court is the beginning of the long walk to restore the dignity of teachers in this country so that they can deliver quality education. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I wouldn't call it uh, striking gold. It is the beginning of uh, restoration of the dignity of teachers mm -hmm. in this country. Mm -hmm. And probably it would mark uh, the end of industrial unrest and open a window for uh, sober and constructive industrial relations for the future. Because the, the direction has been given. So 50 to 60, we were asking for 300% based on the consumer price index, inflation, and biting poverty that is affecting teachers. Uh, but to start with 50, 60 is a good start and mm. it's tenable for four years, from 2013 to June 20. 16, 2017. 2017. Yeah, therefore, so this has been yeah. backdated to 2013. It's yes. not just from this particular month. It is not from, month. yeah. It's backdated to 2013. Okay. And, and broken into four equal uh, installments of 12.5% to 15%. So this means the lowest earning teacher, say, who was earning in 2012, um, 16,000, will earn what with this particular fee? From the 1st of July... Mm -hmm. Which that, is today. Yeah, which is today. Mm -hmm. uh, that teacher is entitled to a 12% pay 2013, 12% 2014, 1st of July, yeah. and 12% uh, uh, 2015, 1st of July. Yeah. So by the end of this month, uh, cumulatively, all teachers are entitled to three installments of the award and the last installment. Uh, is tenable 1st of July 2016. Oh. Practically, that is within the framework of the policies of SRC and uh, the laws of this country. So you and have, that, is, yeah. uh, that is where the orders were premised, and we think we are satisfied for now. You're satisfied for now. However, this might not be a reality as fast as you expect because the Cabinet Secretary of Education has already indicated that they will be appealing this particular decision. This would then, in fact, keep that um, increase. Uh, no, I, 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 I don't think we are prepared to enter into some form of drama. And I would like uh, to state very clearly that the Cabinet Secretary of Education is a stranger in this business. We are dealing with the employer, which is... Uh, an independent and constitutional commission mm -hmm. and it has been given directions by by the court and it is the employer which took us to court and we submitted to the court and we had consent orders agreed by all parties that the process takes uh, the direction it took now we have a ruling uh, it will be unfortunate but there are for party here and it, it's it an is, education ministry no, 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 no. it's impossible to separate it's not a party on matters of uh, terms he's not and he's a stranger by all standards. And would like to believe that he's speaking for himself and he's not speaking for government. And we would like so to say the event that the governance, then governance, appeals this decision. governance 
uh, it's not run like a limited company. It's run within the framework of law, within the constitution. A lot of quality issues were considered during the process of the case. And uh, it would be dangerous for us to begin uh, reflecting on uh, uh, reversing the, the, the process. But and technically by law, and this is technically by law, technically by law, yes. uh, the only appeal that anybody can make in accordance with the labor law is matters of legality, but not substance of the case. It's already concluded and it is protected mm. uh, by the labor laws. So it's futile for anybody to think in that direction. And you're saying it clearly. Anybody trying to attempt that would be provoking, causing extreme provocation. And we are prepared for that. And when so, you're so, you so, provoked, what will your response be? Or the, 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 only honor, the only duty that government has is to mop up resources and pay teachers. The question is that, uh, let's come to that, the resources you're talking about. Because teachers already, as we speak, are taking, is it 10% of the budget? So how you're many, talking about... How, how many teachers? They're doing what amount of work, teaching how many children. You cannot lump teachers this as a wholesale package. Yeah. And uh, we begin getting defensive. Let's look at other aspects. We are not only talking about teachers. We are talking about all workers. All workers uh, deserve a decent pay as per Section 41 of the Constitution. These are constitutional provisions. And we've conversed all these. And uh, people are not telling us how much money is lost through corruption. We've seen. Uh, that the is a whole different control issue. My and question Auditor to you, General's Secretary report General, about 100 billion. My question to uh, you, Secretary General, is this: yes. that yes, on one hand, there are issues of corruption, and those are um, tax realities. evasion of 137 those billion. But we are talking about we are talking however, about an addition of 50 billion. You think it is a lot of money? These the are peanuts. Is this, already one sector, one. Okay, public servants are taking 10% of the budget. If every other, then, you know, public servant, every other, say, like doctors, the nurses come out and claim, will you have all of the recurrent expenditure then? That has been a wage bill question and issue that the country has human been with. Capital, is a legitimate question Human issue? capital is a key engine to driving the economy of the country. And uh, developing some economic theories that do not work, but we want to gridlock that the wage of workers should not exceed this number, whereas those workers deserve decent pay so that they can be productive to the economy is, is a dangerous uh, school of thought. Mm -hmm. The court has given direction, and the court was created for that purpose and is a competent court uh, manned by competent churches who are vast with economic realities. This ruling was not given in a vacuum someone must have considered the economic capacity of this country. Let's look at the current budget of this year. Government will spend 2.2 trillion. But the marginal increase for this workforce, which of course is the largest workforce in any, in any government, is only 50 billion shillings. 50 money billion which was not accounted for in the budget that we just read. So this money... In terms of a treasury looks at it as a crisis, a where budget, is this money coming A budget from? is not a document from heaven that you have to send it back for heaven for revising. A budget is a document that we all generate locally. This is not the first time we are dealing with this. So and the, laws, the, and the law else. allows even what we call the supplementary budget. It's mm -hmm. not about teachers. If you look at the, the context of the ruling, it gave direction in many ways, even the role of SRC. Right. But it cannot engage in rock dictation of employers. Workers have a right to engage in collective bargaining. Right. And we believe all other workers will access the rights of uh, social dialogue with the employers and engage in collective bargaining uh, process. And collective bargaining process is one of the most exciting events that workers and employers look forward to all over the world and in very serious oh. economies. So this but, has uh, been, yeah. We, we, we cannot see doom. The day this country will value the workforce, the day this country will know that a worker counts a lot in the driving of the economy and, and that all workers must be well supported, mm -hmm. well remunerated so that they can give quality service. That is when we will fast track the economy of this country. So and this, as long yeah. as we live in capitalist thinking of making huge profits and even 
engaging in crimes of evading taxes. 137 billion tax evasion in this country uh, is unfortunate, and we know who are evading taxes. All right, I'll ask you so this, because this has been a long time coming, 15 years to get this particular deal, this particular increase. You fought for it for a long time. Several strikes have taken place. This has now come to pass, if in fact it actualizes without an appeal. Um, does this mean going forward in terms of strikes? We'll not hear teachers striking anytime soon in terms of pay. Uh, this no happy no, no, will no, keep you no satisfied trade, for No a while? trade unionist will tell you that there will be no strikes. We are ever prepared, just in case. But uh, when our issues are handled... But in terms of pay, your, uh, this but will... When, when our, it's not the end. Th this is a CBA between 2013 and 2017. Okay. Uh, depending on the infl inflation trend and consumer price index, then we'll need to develop another CBA of another four years. Mm. That is what is in law. And we ought to, be, uh, to, to, to understand those provisions and if the economy will be doing very well and there will be little changes in consumer price index by the end of the current CBA mm. 20, 2016 then we may require very little pay. The Salaries so, and yeah. Remuneration Commission has also been very uh, vocal on the need for jo job evaluation to take place before any of these increases are made. Are the unions open and will encourage their members to be part of this job evaluation? The, the ruling was given and the direction was given mm. yesterday. Mm. If, if, if you understand the content of the ruling, mm. it was not merely the content of the ruling on the salary the pay. Salaries. It was the ruling on quite a number of issues which we canvassed in court, including the matter of job evaluation which was well defined by the court. the court the court defined the job evaluation and stated who really should carry out the job evaluation it is the employer and therefore in 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 this context SRC cannot carry out job evaluation of teachers it is a work of teacher service commission to carry out its own internal job evaluation mm. they can do it today tomorrow the direction has been given we are not opposed to that but let it be done by the Teacher Service Commission as directed by, by the courts. We have no issue about that. And the teaching service in this country is one of the most structured. And I don't think it even requires any job evaluation because teachers are known. There are nine grades. Their qualifications are known. And the job description is given. Then why do you need job hmm. evaluation? We are not opposed to that. You are but at, yeah. let it be done as guided by the, by, the by the courts. The courts are there to interpret the constitution. And uh, SRC has been given its role. It has been guided properly. And uh, we cannot allow SRC to take over roles of the Ministry of Labor, generating wage policy, the Ministry of the, the Employers. All right taking over job evaluation. So has Nat no? been very vocal in fighting again for the rights of the teachers and, and their place. Um, one would however wonder these teachers do not operate in a vacuum and then would ask the question, why don't we see you with as much vigor as well when it is about um, education and the rights of students as well, educational change of policies. You don't example. report that. We do it so well. We participate. We do not in need to series. report about the yeah, teachers because you're so vocal. Indeed, it captures indeed. And we the big reason, much, and uh, the big reason, before you enter any house, mm. you must have a key yes. to open the door. And the key to quality education is quality teachers who are well supported, well remunerated, and that is what we are standing for. And uh, if you do serious co uh, uh, co comparative analysis mm. of teachers of Kenya and many countries. This is a lot of one of the most hardworking teachers and teachers who have done well. The success rates in terms of curriculum delivery and when you look at the curriculum and education system in Kenya, it has undergone a lot of rapid changes. We've moved from one structure to the next, one structure yeah, to the, the next. But the teachers of this of country, the, the teachers of this country, the teachers of this country, they are facts. Where? The, the pedagogical... Uh, execution is a different matter when in a period of 10 years because we are not teachers are not magicians teachers are human beings and uh, the international recommended teacher pupil ratio is very clear that classes must not exceed 35 but look at it from 2003 to 2015 the learner enrollment in the ordinary schools both uh, primary and secondary has nearly tripled from close to 6 million to 15 million learners mm. 
and the number of teachers is almost cost, constant. The marginal change is about 60. You cannot expect the same number of teachers to deal with an ever-growing population. We, we must match the ratio okay. so that we can safeguard the quality. Those are facts which are not coming out, and uh, it is wrong for but people in this society to talk about this, com advocate to for we them do as much advocate. as we, we and, uh, hear the teachers. It's all part appears. of the collective bargaining agreement, agreement and yes. we, the content of the ruling, right. and the code recognized that with the, the, the new programs, FSC and FPE, mm -hmm. the, cl the class sizes have grown astronomically and teachers are overburdened. Teachers are struggling. Look at a standard one class and you have 100 learners mm -hmm. and you are teaching reading, writing, skills and numeracy. It's impossible. And you see, you have to teach a learner. You don't teach a group. You must move from one learner to the next yeah. to we'll ascertain that every needs. learner is learning. Okay. Can you do it with 100, 100 students? It so can't work. The class sizes have to be rationalized. That is what you have contested as well. And it is a duty of the employer, which has been given the constitutional mandate, right. to convince government and prepare a workable policy so that we can rationalize this. And in that way, we will deliver quality education. So there are a number of things we are fixing. We are fixing teachers' pay mm -hmm. so that they can settle and uh, work, and not just work, mm -hmm. give quality teaching, right. and also class sizes. Yes. Once that is fixed, then uh, I can tell you, you can take this to the bank. Okay. The quality of education in this, in this country will, get better. will match that of Singapore, it will match that of the Nordic countries, it will match that of... Any economy right. that is Let's invested. talk about something else that also is a big story. You are also the general secretary of the Trade Unions Congress, and state and you, your union, uh, have failed to strike a deal. The Congress, uh, new NHIF rates in the long uh, running battle. So the acting CS, Omamo, says that consensus can be reached because talks have been ongoing but you're talking about even a meeting today that will agree on a strike going forward what is the we, issue we reached here? consensus uh two days ago and uh we agreed that we would reconvene yesterday to recast our agreement and uh, probably issue a communique to the public mm -hmm. and uh, the, the the trouble with our government is moving forth and back, shifting the goalpost and changing positions. We canvassed our issues and the government side agreed that the matters we are raising indeed are valid. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go into the content and the substance of the matter, but then we agreed on sanitizing the environment to allow for amicable dialogue. Mm -hmm. That one, they asked us to drop the strike threat. And uh, we, in, in fact, it's them who proposed that for us, we are not going to, we demanded revocation of the cassette notice, but they said we are not going to revoke, we can only suspend. And interpretation was given by the Attorney General's office that it's possible in law to suspend. So both parties, the NHIF and government suspend mm -hmm. the gazette notice and implementation. And then the union suspend the strike and uh, we even did not agree to suspend we agreed even to revoke the strike altogether mm. and uh, then them they suspend so that we could agree within an agreeable period of time on the s issues that we raised and our biggest issue that we raised and it is wrong for any government to do that to unilaterally impose deductions whether for good or for what, it is wrong for government to do that. You cannot, you cannot run affairs of the state and those of the workers like a limited company. So there must be consultation. And this was not done. Yeah. And uh, that is why we issued a notice. And uh, when we engaged in discussion, when they came back yesterday, the mood changed. They started changing facts, contradicting the content of the, the issues the that we raised the other day. The acting CS is this, uh, Mr. Sosion, that um, suspending this gazette notice is detrimental to the ordinary Kenyans it who are benefiting who from the NHIF. It is them who proposed. Please. 
It is them who propose the suspension. We propose revocation. They propose suspension. And we agreed. And uh, we even agreed that the CS issues a statement on our behalf. And so we agreed on the forward? content of the statement. Now that you appear to have Now they have retracted. A they will pay the price. Which is? It, it is simple. It they is. will pay the price. the price. The notice expired at midnight, and we are going to meet to give direction to our affiliates. We are going to meet today to give direction to our affiliates on what to do. Some of our affiliates uh, actually commence the strike after midnight. So you will be seeing one affiliate so after So you will be announcing other. today whether you are going on strike or not? We, we have announced. We are, are only going to going deal. On we are only going to deal with the logistics of dealing with this. This matter, let government be warned, and we don't speak for the sake of speaking. We were committed to dialogue. They gave proposals. We accepted. We don't know where they went. The kind okay. of uh, the kind of instructions they received. Mm -hmm. Who is instructing them? Then suddenly they changed, and we could read that what they were presenting to us. They were doing it with a lot of pains and with a lot of difficulties. Okay. And, uh, and, and therefore we think there are a lot of issues in this. You cannot burden the workers of this country to finance the healthcare of every Kenyan. The universal standard practice right. is that government must give a share of the contribution. Right, and Chair. in this case, yes. it is giving Success. zero shillings. All right. And it's intending to pump out and create 26 billion from workers of this country. That we is you and me and all of us, and, everybody and that else. we can't allow. All right, we will end it there. Thank you very much, uh, Wilson Sosion, Secretary General Nat, also General Secretary TUC Kenya. We appreciate you taking time to join us this morning, shedding light on those issues. We'll be waiting for your action going forward on both the matters of the teachers and their trade unions congress. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that is why we take a short break when we return the newsroom. Newsroom and there are no guests. Although they have their 